Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com and today we're taking a very quick look at and installing the Modern Billet Lower Mesh Grill in Black available for the 2011-2014 Challenger. You should be checking this out. Very simply put, if you're looking for a more aggressive, unique, personalized style at the front end with a lower grill that snaps right on over your factory one, removing the need to uninstall your bumper to completely replace the grill with a different design. This is gonna lay over top of that factory, very boring, almost honeycomb-like grill with something that's got a diamond wire mesh design. This is made using OEM CAD data from Dodge to make sure that it's a perfect fit over top of that factory lower grill without the need for any cutting or modification. It's just gonna fit super snug around the edges. Now it's got that diamond wire mesh that has a really tight mesh design to it. There are some other mesh options out there in the category and out in the aftermarket that have a more opened up design. This one's for the guys who like that closed off design a little bit more. It's made from a very durable, super rigid steel construction with a black powder coated finish on top. Now the black powder coating not only looks stealthy and looks aggressive, but it's gonna help take the corrosion and rust resistance a little bit further to beef up that structure and durability. There's also a matching upper grill in the category if you're looking to completely finish that front end look to really have it match upper and lower. But if you're just interested in the lower one or if you've already got the upper one, this is a great way to kick things off. This one's gonna come in right around 150 bucks, making it one of the more affordable ways to customize your front end. Again, it's just an overlay, so it's gonna bolt right up to the front of your factory lower grill, which means the install is gonna be a whole lot easier. All we had to do was remove the factory belly pan underneath to gain access to the back of the factory grill, and you bolt it up using seven millimeter nuts. Again, super easy. Because it doesn't require you to remove your lower grill, the install I'm giving one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. It'll take you about an hour from start to finish, and I'll walk you through the entire process. Let's get started. It. Tools used in the install include an impact gun, quarter inch ratchet, seven and 10 millimeter deep sockets, and a Phillips head socket or a Phillips head screwdriver. First things first here, of course, we're gonna get our vehicle up in the air. You can do this on the ground. I just find it easier to use a lift, of course. Now, we're gonna get our belly pan out of the way. If your vehicle doesn't have a belly pan, makes it even easier. The only reason we're taking that off is to gain access to the back of our factory lower grill so we can help bolt down the new overlay. With that said, we have a couple of bolts going around the front where the bottom splitter is, and then a couple of push pin clips holding it on. So seven millimeter socket on my impact gun, let's get them off. All right, starting here in the corner, I'm gonna get the seven millimeter off. Now it looks like a couple of them have been replaced with Phillips head, so we may have to switch over to a Phillips head, but let's get all the sevens off at first. Now I'm gonna switch over to my Phillips head socket and get the rest of them off. Grab a 10 millimeter socket to get the two bolts off at the back end. Now on the inside here, just in front of the tire, there's not a whole lot of room, but there's one panel clip. We wanna get that guy off, so grab your panel removal tool and pry it out. And just like that, repeat on the other side. All right, now we should pull the entire piece off in one piece and set it aside. Now this next step may be a little bit of trial and error, but you wanna basically take the lower mesh grill overlay with the studs pre-installed right out of the box. If yours were not installed, you're just gonna screw them in by hand and then use the Allen key included in the kit to tighten them down. You're basically gonna, again, trial and error, put this guy in place on your factory grill. You may have to start at one side, working your way over to the other to make sure that the studs push all the way through to the inside of the factory grill. Then we'll head underneath and tighten them down with the hardware. Perfect, there we go. All right, now underneath, looking at the back side of our factory grill, you can see the studs start to poke through. Grab the big flat washer included in the kit and put it over to make sure that our nut doesn't fall through the factory opening. And grab the nut included in the kit and thread it onto that stud all the way down by hand. All right, I just like to make sure that that washer is sideways so it's nice and even. Repeat that for all of the studs and then we can tighten them down. All right, I'm gonna do the one in the right corner, the right bottom corner, and then again, you're just repeating for all the studs.
Grab a seven millimeter deep socket or wrench and tighten them down. Repeat that for all of them. All right, with that last one tightened down, we can start putting our belly pan back on. All right, putting up this factory belly pan is pretty simple. We're just gonna slide it back into place under the factory lip. Grab your factory tens and put them back on the back side. All right, grab your seven millimeter bolts and put them back through. Next up, we can grab our Phillips head screws and do the same thing. Put the push pins back in the wheel well and repeat on the other side and you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Modern Billet Mesh Lower Grill in Black, available for the 11 to 14 Challenger. You can get yours right here at AmericanMuscle.com.